Welcome back to the channel and today we are back in the Trailmakers Airborne campaign which releases today. Uh, so we're going to head over to that icon over there. There's a cool looking Chirpo icon and uh, we got to meet that person and see what they're all about and what kind of missions they're going to have for us. So I'm going to start heading over there on land and oh boy, I'm already getting shot at. Uh, I probably should have improved this vehicle first. I meant to put a front spoiler on it so my steering had a little bit more uh, traction. But it looks like we're heading over... I don't know where we're heading. Are we supposed... To... I don't think we're heading into that area. You know what? I'm going to do something epic here. Ready for this? Here we go. Oh, no. It's not working. All right. That, that was going to be way cooler in my head than in reality, but uh, here we go. <laughs> I was supposed to transform midair, but the drop off was too gradual. All right, I probably should have looked at uh, how many power cores I had to see if I can add anything to this. Um, here, let's go back down a little bit. We got to make our way through all of these things, but it's okay because I have a mini gun. In the last episode, I unlocked the mini gun. So we can just lay a barrage onto these guys and these are the easy enemies. So one thing I'm not too sure about is, um, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh, I've made a mistake. I have definitely made a mistake. Where am I getting shot from all of these explosive? <gasps> they have anti-air turrets. I didn't notice the anti-air turrets. Okay, get away from the anti-air turrets. Oh, I, I am so damaged right now. Look at how damaged I am. Oh, okay. All right, let's just go really far up. I can repair. There we go. Okay, so I've been looking at the comments and I think the comments have figured out how the repair system works because I noticed that sometimes it recharges and sometimes it doesn't. And I think it has to do with if you are on the ground and you are stationary, then you can you have unlimited repairs. But if you are moving, whether or not you're in the air or on the ground, in that case, uh, you will have a recharge or a cooldown time. Oh boy, we're getting shot with a flat cannon again on your uh, repair. And I think the logic behind that is um, you can repair on the go less frequently because you're kind of in the middle of the action, but you have to take a break from the action if you want a guaranteed uh, repair with no cooldown. And fortunately, I have another repair left. It does, I wonder if the amount of times you repair increases the cooldown or if it's always the same cooldown. But yeah, that area, we are not going over to that area anytime soon, I don't think. We are heading over to this area. So, oh, there over there is the, that is the starting area. So we are heading now, ah, I remember this, I remember this, okay. Yeah, so we're kind of heading more back towards the starting area, but on these islands that appear to be, oh, I guess they are floating. I thought they were, I thought they were attached to like some type of ground, but it looks like, no, they just end down there. This is massive, like the amount of little, little mini plateaus everywhere. I can see a treasure chest way down below me and a power core ahead of me. This place looks pretty cool. Uh, ow. You know what, here, let's, uh, let's actually touch down here because I want to start improving my maneuverability and let's see how many power cores I have left. All right, I had 12 out of 18 power cores. So I'm gonna add a couple more mini thrusters to help me with turning sharper. And I'm gonna add a couple more cannons up to the front as well to make this airship that much more deadly. So two sets of these smaller cannons. So I have one mini gun and then two smaller cannons and that maxes out my power cores. So what does that look like as far as uh, firing goes? Oh, actually, how's my weight distribution? Okay, I gotta change my weight distribution as well. But now you can see way more firepower and oh man did you see how much how much that sent me flying backwards the recoil is really really strong so here's me going forwards look at my speed in the bottom left okay it's actually we can handle it we can definitely handle it but uh my center of buoyancy is not very good right now yeah as you can see it is a little bit far in front of my center of mass all right this is actually looking way more level It'd be really useful if I found some of like the angle sensors and logic parts that I could use to automate some of my uh, some of my angles and stuff. But right now I just got to have everything manually controlled and there's a blimp. This is my first time seeing a blimp. All right. So you can see the difference between the cannons and the minigun. The minigun has not locked on, but the cannons are locked on. 
The description of the parts did say that the miniguns had a uh, more slight aim lock than the cannons, which have a stronger aim lock. So here, let's try to get with, oh man, it's already firing at me. Oh, wait, what? It's got a shield? Not my rear view mirror. How do I break through the shield? Did I just take on a quest before I was supposed to take on the quest? Oh wait, his shield is up, or his shield is down. Wow, that thing has way, way more uh, health than the blimps. I mean, the, the hot air balloons. Oh yeah, you are falling apart. He's got his shield back up. There we go. How is that, how is that working? Come on, lock on. There we go, lock on. Oh, oh, hold on, I gotta repair. Get him. There we go. All right, that was challenging. I am definitely hurting. What's gonna happen? Is he gonna crash land on that island? Is he actually gonna crash? Wow. Oh, I guess. I, I didn't even meet the. Ma I think I accidentally. Uh, I think I accidentally started a quest before meeting the mayor of this town. That's a lot of chirpos. How many are you? All right, there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This is twice the number of chirpos. I, I feel like I should have met the mayor first. I just saw the blimp and started shooting. All right, so I need to double the amount of seats here. Now the question is, am I uh, am I too heavy to fly now? I'm actually too heavy to fly. I'm gonna have to add some more. All right, I'm kind of inclined to just duplicate these ones and see if that's enough. Can I fly now? Yes, yes I can. All right, well, this is an interesting craft, isn't it? I do feel very vulnerable, though. All right, let's take you guys home after I go get this power core over here. There we go, power core unlocked. Nailed that one. All right, what are we looking at here for this town? Look at this place. This is a cool looking place. This is really cool. I wish the sun kind of like shone in here a little bit more so it wasn't so shady. All right, here we go. I unlocked some type of cockpit. Ah, Trailmaker! What a blessing to have you here! I am Pachimama. That's a weird name. The mayor of Maha Pisku. Unfortunately, I have failed in my position. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. The pirates have taken my people. Well, I've already gotten 16 of them. I desperately need your help to get them back. So I've unlocked the uh, the aircraft cockpit and a bunch of a bunch more aerodynamics. This is great. The pirates have pinned down some of my people. Help them back home. Okay. So I've gotten two more power cores, right? Yes. If I get if I can find two additional power cores, I can add a second minigun onto this thing. Along with my uh, small cannons. And I think I saw a power core some there it is. Perfect. Alright, now I need one more oh there's another power core. Ask and you shall receive. Alright. Ow, ow. That wasn't the most graceful. All right, man, my blimp is, uh, it is rocking like crazy. Um, I think I need to change how I stabilize this thing. Because right now I have all my stability balloons in the center, which is basically giving me a pivot point uh, to pivot around. If I, if I spread out those balloons to be at the ends, um, I think it's gonna go a pretty long way. So I'm gonna put one at the back like that, and then I'm gonna move this one up here. All right, and then also I can now attach another mini gun here. And I'm thinking it'll probably be a good idea actually to replace this go-kart seat with the aircraft cockpit because the go-kart seat does have terrible, uh, a terrible durability, I think, compared to the other cockpits. There we go. This is already starting to look a lot more slick. All right, I'm also going to add one more set of balloons because this thing is pretty heavy uh, in the middle. So... Yeah, as long as I can fall and rise, we should be good. And it looks like I'm staying much more level now. A lot less rocking. All right, I made some adjustments. I don't know if they're ideal. It is really hard to balance uh, an aircraft like this. Oh, they are definitely not ideal adjustment. Well, it depends. It changes whether or not I inflate or deflate my balloons, which is kind of disappointing. But, um, oh boy. Oh boy, we have, we're locking on to different things. Uh-oh. Oh, as soon as we get attention of that guy, it's, uh, it's not looking good now. All right, looks like I can still cause some damage, even from a distance here. All right, I'm gonna try to sink down, down lower. 
I don't know, should I take out the, the easier guys first? I feel like I should. There we go. Go, 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 go. Oh. Oh, boy. I'm gonna wait until I'm actually falling out of the sky before I repair. All right, come on, lock on, there we go. There we go. Oh, am I actually falling out of the sky now? Not yet. Not yet, I'm still in the sky. I am rocking like crazy, though. Oh, that did so much damage. I'm about to lose some balloons, like, right now. Come on. Ow, I cannot believe these things. Man, look at, look at the glowing. Here it goes. There we go, they're falling off. All right, repair. Come on. Oh, I'm already damaged. I gotta wait for that cooldown. All right, I gotta retreat. Oh, wait, no, look at his health. Look at his health. Am I gonna die right now? If I can kill him from here without even locking on, yes! Okay, please don't fall out of the sky before my repair is charged. Okay, starting to feel the challenge now. Definitely starting to feel the challenge. All right, I'm coming, Chirpos. Don't mind the the appearance of my vehicle. I'm perfectly safe to fly, okay? All right, it looks like uh, 16 is the new standard for these Chirpos, so here we go. I'm gonna finally repair now. All right, come on, Chirpos. What a comfy ride, I know, right? You should have seen it two seconds ago. All right, let's go home. Any power cores out here? I'm honestly not that concerned about like the gold chests because uh, I just don't need that much gold. I got a lot of gold from the other campaigns already. So when it comes to the chests, I'm focusing on the loot crates and the power cores. All right, there's one power core. All right, what is this gonna be? Flat connector. Oh, that could actually be, be pretty useful. All right, Mayor, I have returned with the Chirpos. Simple tail fin unlock. Ooh, that's gonna be really nice for planes. Propeller unlocked, ooh. All right, we have another mission. Dog fighting bullies, uh-oh. Do I have to build a plane now? My team of archeologists are stuck on the mountaintop. Is that above us? That mountaintop? They were trying to learn more about the giant stone heads, but some pirate dog fighters are harassing them. Fend off the pirate scum and bring back my Chirpo team. All right, it seems like it is above me. Uh, so are these going to have to, or am I gonna have to build a plane? Let's try it with this vehicle, uh, just to see what happens. And we'll see how uh, outmatched or how competent this vehicle ends up being against dog fighters, apparently. Oh, I see a power core over here first though, and a chest, yeah. Oh yeah, you can see, oh, look at the planes up there. I don't know if I have, I think I, do I have the materials I need to build a, an actual working plane? All right, power core unlocked. Let's see what this chest has in store for us. Oh, another flat connector. Good, the one by four. I need now the one by two flat connector. All right, do you think I'm gonna be able to beat these planes? I don't know how strong the planes are compared to the, uh, the hot air balloons. All right, but here we go. I mean, I'm really not gonna have the maneuverability, am I? When are they gonna notice I'm here? Okay. All right, target locked. Oh, they're not that strong. I might be able to do this. Uh oh, they're coming after me though. All right, one down. Oh, this is crazy. This is pretty crazy. There we go, another one down. <laughs> yeah, these guys, these are, they don't have a lot of health, fortunately. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, come on. Oh, 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 ooh, they do, they do some decent damage though. Like they get a lot of hits there. All right, I think that's all I needed. I think I'm gonna see after after this mission, I'm gonna see about actually building a plane. Prepare ourselves. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be like my passenger vehicle with uh, consider considerable amounts of offensive weaponry, but I am gonna need a dog fighting capable vehicle as well. Man, why are these Chirpos so bad at flying? Every single place, they just crash a plane. Come to think of it, I haven't seen a single intact Chirpo plane on any of their runways. What do you mean, how are you supposed to fit here? You need more? No, you can fit, right? Yeah, we're good? Are we good? We're good. That's weird that he said that. There's a chest around here somewhere. A loot crate. Where are you? There's the crate. There's the one by two connector, all right. All right, looks like there's another one actually pretty close by. Probably on the other side of this this mound right here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, look at this little outcrop. All right, well, I have all the flat connectors, so what's this gonna be? Landing wheels, those are new. 
We actually have landing gear for planes. Dedicated landing gear. All right, it seems like there's yet another chest close by. There it is. Wow, that was really hiding in that corner. Spinning servo. Okay. Gives us a little bit of mechanical capabilities. Oh, I see another power core as well. And there's a lot of loot just hiding on this giant floating mountain. There we go. Another power core. Should be able to make some decent improvements. All right, let's take these chirpos back now that I'm a little bit closer. Whoa. I'm so relieved that you saved everyone. This is a weird angle. And nobody even got hurt. That is true. Except for those pirates, of course. Here. Oh. Oh, that was it. That was a short one compared to the other islands. There was like only two. I mean, I guess they all had two missions, but they didn't feel as hard as the uh, the last one did for some reason. Blueprint available. Yeah, now it is time to uh, build a plane. Oh, there we go. Small flap wing unlocked. Small aileron. So I wouldn't even have really been able to build a good plane until now. Small elevator fin. All right, we just got plane controls, brand new parts for controlling a plane. And now we can see a new Chirpo Mare icon has appeared way off in that direction. But uh, we also have more loot and stuff over here. So let's build a plane to fly around these islands with and collect the final bits of loot here before we continue on over there. All right, so I do have propellers. I can use mini thrusters and or propellers. Power 80 for the mini thrusters. There isn't actually a power rating for these. You know what? Let's do a quick test, actually. And, oh, look at that. The hitbox of the propeller has been completely diminished. It used to be the entirety of the uh, blades. So this is going to make building with these things so much easier. All right, let's see. Can this lift up 30 kilograms? All right, it's pretty much, it's pretty much exactly the same amount of force. I can just barely get weightless. All right, now let's see. Okay, wow, look at that. This doesn't even get us, like at all off the ground. So the repellers are way stronger than the mini thrusters because I did two mini thrusters for, for one propeller because that's the same amount of power cores. And the uh, the two mini thrusters do not have as much lift force as that propeller did. So I'm gonna build myself a propeller plane then. So the new parts at my disposal are small flap wing, small aileron, small elevator fin, and then some of the more standard parts. So I, I am excited to build with these new parts and we have the landing gear too. All right, here we go. Oh boy, we got a whole bunch of stuff in here now. So we have center of lift, which is different than center of buoyancy, which is what we were working with with the uh, balloons. We also have center of vertical drag. Airplanes with the center of drag far behind the center of mass are more stable in flight. So I think that's talking about like tails and stuff. And center of horizontal drag, which also applies to the tail. Interesting. So these control surfaces by default are set to Q. They're on a toggle. You press it and then they go down. Yeah, this, this is an interesting default uh, setting for these. I'm just using them as a standard wing because it's the only real wings that I have. I don't have any other, like, I don't have, like, a modular wing or anything. You know, maybe that's, maybe that's some of the parts that we're going to find around here. But what does this tip look like for the uh, aileron? All right, look at that. So this is what we're going to be using to turn. All right, let me check out this landing gear. There we go. Landing wheels. Okay, so now for the tail, um, do I use the small flap? I'm going to use the small elevator fins for the tail, maybe? That looks pretty reasonable. This is such a small plane, though. Am I going to be dead, like, instantly? All right, my center of lift is in front of my center of mass right now, which is not ideal, but I have yet to add my weaponry. I left some room up by the cockpit and the nose here to attach these. It doesn't actually bring my center of mass forward as much as I want. So maybe that means, maybe the mini guns are gonna be where it's at. These things look so massive in comparison. And oh, there's actually no room. They stick out behind the attachment point. Unless I put it like up here, like next to the cockpit. That actually looks kind of insane, doesn't it? Hey, you know what? I think a better solution is to um, extend the nose out a bit. There we go. Now the center of mass and the center of lift are pretty well aligned. But the question is, though, is this thing even able to take off? Let me check my control surfaces right now. Oh, wow. They're pretty much already programmed by default. I don't have any thrust. I forgot to put thrust on this thing. Wow. That's going to affect my mass a lot. Oh, that's what I was going to put on the front, a propeller. All right, is that enough mass to actually uh, lift off? What if I just die right now? I mean, I guess I'll just respawn. All right, yeah, so I'm a little bit too front heavy now. The roll does feel nice though, but oh, there's a power core right there. Can I go in for a landing? Ah, <laughs> I'm dead. 
All right, I'm going to extend the wings to give myself some more lift because the wings are a little stubby. And then to bring my center of mass back and also increase my speed a little bit, I'm going to add some mini thrusters to the back as well. All right, let's see how this feels. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It feels better, but it still doesn't feel stable yet. And I'm noticing that the propeller actually has a reverse function now, which... I don't think you could do that before, but that's going to be really nice for slowing down on runways. Let me flip these upside down. Ah, yeah, there we go. That, I think they may have fixed it. All right, so now... Oh, yeah, now we fly much straighter. There still is a slight nose down. But overall, it's not too bad. All right, so let's look for some of this stuff. I mean, landing is going to be so much harder to pick up these things now. But let's see what I can do here. I think I just need generally more lift. Uh-oh, please don't die. All right. Perfectly fine. I'll just hop on out and grab this power core. All right, flying this thing around, I think I need to make it longer. All right, this feels more stable. I actually took off the mini thrusters because now my weight was a little bit too far back. But uh, it looks a little bit weird being this long, but it, it just feels so much better. Oh, no, look at that. There is a loot crate. Okay. Am I gonna be able- okay, no, I'm falling. I'm falling out of the sky. Yeah, so I think I need- I need bigger wings. I'm definitely- I'm looking forward to getting the bigger wings that are just gonna have more area of lift. Because right now, this is not very capable of gliding right now. Maybe I should build a biplane. I'm gonna turn this into a biplane after I get this loot crate. See if that helps with the lift issue. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dying. Dang it, I thought I was gonna actually make the landing on that. All right, I need a biplane. Shouldn't be too hard. I'll just copy these wings and bring them up like that. All right, I have a ton more power cores though. So let me add some more guns to this thing. I'm gonna add a set of smart cannons on the nose now where the, pri where the previous mini guns were. There we go. And that also aligns my center of mass and lift a little bit more. Now let's see how this thing feels flying around. Okay, so far not too bad. Where was I going? There was a loot chest up here. Let's see if I can land this over here now. I don't know how my glide, my, my gliding capability should be better, but I don't know if they're still gonna be bad. All right, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Dang it. Uh Oh, okay, hold on, I can do this. Uh, oh, look at that fire rate. Oh my goodness. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't fire these. I, d I fell out of the sky when I did that. All right, watch my speed. We're at 70, 80. Do you see that? I can't use these guns. I can add more propellers, maybe. I cannot believe the amount of recoil. I wonder I, I wonder what the recoil difference is between the mini guns and the smart cannons. All right, here we go. Oh, that's way better. Oh, so much better. And now I can use the reverse of the propeller to slow down. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Come on. Wait, I got an idea. This might be cheating a little bit. I'm going to put the vehicle up there. That worked. Small modular wing unlocked. That's what I was looking for. I actually didn't want to use these small flap wings. I wanted the small modular wings. I wonder if the modular wings have more lift than the flap wing. So let's delete those. Let's use the modular wing instead. All right, it looks like that actually did move my center of lift a little bit far farther forward. So it might have more lift than the uh, the flap wing. See, small wing with integrated flap, whereas this is provides a small amount of lift. But we got a big problem here with our recoil. I think these guns just might be too big for this. Actually, I'm gonna do a quick test here. I'm gonna set these to uh, number one. So now we can see the recoil difference. So if I just fire these, that's still so much recoil. All right, now let's try it with the miniguns. Okay, I feel like the miniguns are definitely way worse. So let's get rid of the miniguns and let's put these small cannons here instead. All right, can I fly while I shoot these guns at least? That is a huge, that is still a huge amount of recoil. But I am able to maintain flight as I do a burst. Okay. Let's uh, find, there's another power core over here somewhere. This is feeling way better to fly now though. I'm loving this. Actually, what does first person look like? Whoa, hold on. That looks cool. Whoa, whoa, look at the first person on the seat. This seat is so much better in first person now. 
This is top of seat camera. That is awesome. The first person view in the pilot seat is so much better than it used to be. All right, where is this power core? Is it on this island? It is on this island somewhere. Is it down? Oh, it's down there. All right, this is gonna be precarious. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh survive. Oh. Oh, wow, look at this. This is crazy down here. Am I even gonna be able to take off from under here? All right, there's another power core. I have an idea for this build. I think I have a really interesting idea, actually. All right, so here's my idea. I'm actually gonna add a minigun to the nose of this. So now with this minigun on the nose, you can see when I shoot, I pretty much start falling out of the sky. But what I wanna do is uh, I wanna add some thrusters that are set to the shoot button. So as soon as I start shooting, I'm gonna get a boost of thrust. All right, but can this thing fly normally on its own? Okay, pull up. All right, so now when I shoot. Look at that. Did you see my speed? That works really, really well. So now I have shooting thrusters. I kind of want to go shoot down a plane now. Although I am noticing my altitude is uh, slowly, I'm not really getting up in the air very well, am I? I think I need more thrust that is set to just space bar. All right, here we go. Oh, ho, ho, that was like instant. This is so powerful right now. I do have a lot more uh, maneuverability. Now that I, I added some thrusters up by the nose, that are also uh, going along with my propeller. So that helps me with just my general thrust. And then, uh, there we go. And then when I shoot, the other set of thrusters do their thing. This is so fun. Oh boy, I actually missed. Come on, lock on, lock on. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, this isn't the most agile plane. I think um, I'm gonna add some more, some some double tail fins on this. All right, I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable in this plane now. Let's take out the rest of these balloons here. There we go. You know what? Let's do first. Oh, okay. First person is bad with this gun. First person is really, really, really bad with that gun. Go back into uh, orbit camera. All right, here we go. Oh boy. One. Man. Ah, I still keep, uh, wow, that was a lot of damage. I have a lot of trouble stabilizing out for some reason. Like, once I do big turns like that. Come on, that should do it. There we go. Oh, and there, right there, there's a, uh, a loot chest down here. All right, what is this? Oh, a 1x4 grid block. All right, now you can see on my compass, there are no more power cores or uh, loot chests marked. So I think I've cleared this area. Overall, I am pretty happy with this biplane, even though it, the controllability isn't quite what I would want it to be. I am feeling pretty good about it so far. And there we go. Nice landing on the runway. <laughs> Not the nicest landing, but it's a landing nonetheless. So make sure you guys are subscribed because in the next episode, I'm going to be heading over there and we're probably going to be getting into some actual dog fights with other fighter planes. Hopefully we'll end up finding some bigger wing pieces over there and then I can build a much bigger and formidable fighter plane to, uh, to control the skies with. All right, well, if you guys have been enjoying the campaign so far, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.